let's go ahead and now revise the next chapter the next chapter is the chapter of assessments everyone over here we started learning gst with what everyone we started learning gst with goods or service goods or service has to be supplied supply can be either interstate supply or supply can be either intrastate interstate supply what will happen i gst will be levied intrastate what will happen c gst will be levied once gst is levied gst has to be collected and paid by a taxable person how will he collect how will he pay he will calculate gst how will you calculate everyone? GST is equal to value of supply into rate of tax. Once you know the value, you will go ahead and prepare the tax invoice, credit note, debit note and delivery chalan. Then you will go ahead and maintain your accounts and record and you will send the goods to the other person with the help of e-way bill. Now, once you go ahead and send the goods to the other person with the help of e-way bill, your liability to pay gst will come and liability comes at the time of supply now you'll go ahead and use your input tax credit remaining amount you'll make the payment and you'll file your returns and at any stage if you have a doubt you can go to the advanced ruling from your point of view the job is done now the job starts from the department point of view and hence comes the chapter of assessments everyone please come to a chart of assessment assessment means what assessment means determination of the tax liability determination of tax liability how do you determine tax liability gst is equal to liability you determine by value of supply into rate of tax value multiplied by the rate of tax will give you the liability liability ke liye you will use your credit and remaining amount you will make the payment in assessment ka chapter we learn section number 59 we learn section number 60 we learn section number 61 we learn section number 62, 63 and section number 64. Section number 59 when we go ahead and talk about, section number 59 talks about self-assessment. Self-assessment may, always remember every registered person, registered person only will do the self-assessment. Every registered person shall mandatorily do the self-assessment. They shall self-assess the tax which is payable and they should pay the tax, file their return under section number 39. That is told in self-assessment. I will myself determine my tax pay the tax and I'll file my return. That is told by self-assessment. The next is provisional assessment. Remember one thing for your exam purpose, provisional assessment, suo moto, proper officer can't do, you only have to apply for provisional assessment. Now, whenever a taxable per person, provisional assessment can be applied by a taxable person, you are unable to determine the value or you are unable to determine the rate of tax, then Baba, you can request the proper officer in ASMT01. Sir, exam purpose, we have to remember the form number. If you don't remember, no problem. ASMT01, you will have to request the officer for provisional payment of tax. Now, officer will go ahead and issue an order in ASMT04 within how many days? Within 90 days, allowing for provisional payment, payment on provisional basis at such rate and value as may be specified in the provisional assessment order. People, what happened? I was not able to determine the value or I was not able to determine the rate of tax. It means I will not be able to determine the GST and hence I will go ahead and apply to the officer in ASMT 01. He will go ahead and issue me an assessment order in ASMT 04 within how many days? 90 days. And once he has gone ahead and issued me the assessment order, provisional assessment order, he will also go ahead and tell me, Ramesh, you please make a bond in ASMT 05 along with a security in the form of bank guarantee. If I am going ahead and giving him a bond of 1 lakh rupees, along with the bond, 25% should be the bank guarantee, which is a security. Security basically is a bank guarantee. Are we clear, everyone? Then they go ahead and say, once they have gone ahead and communicated you, once they have gone ahead and communicated you the provisional assessment, then after the communication of the provisional assessment order, they are going ahead and telling final assessment order in ASMT 07 will be given within six months from the communication of the provisional assessment order. Remember further extension, if they could not do from the date of provisional assessment within six months, if they could not do the final assessment, then again six months extension can be given by the AC or JC. And remember one thing, commissioner can further extend the period, period by how many years? Four years. So sir, I applied after that 90 days my provisional assessment order communicated from that six months further extendable by six months and further extendable by four years sir once the provisional assessment is finalized final assessment may they told you have to pay six lakh rupees i had already paid only five lakh rupees then remaining one lakh rupees i'll have to go ahead and pay now along with interest at the rate of 18 percent remember one thing if it was a supply of the month of january for which the due date was 28th february so you'll have to pay interest from the due date till the date of payment means you'll have to go ahead and make the payment along with interest at the rate of 18% till the date of payment up from the day after the due date 
till the date of payment and now once you have gone ahead and make the payment of the differential you will go ahead and tell the officer for release of security sir please give my bank guarantee back and for release of security you will tell him in asmt08 he will go ahead and release the security after ensuring that all the payments have been done he will release in asmt09 within how many days seven days of the receipt of the application and sir always remember the benefit is what everyone the benefit of provisional assessment is penalties will not be imposed because you would have paid something less the next one over here is sir supposingly provisional assessment i had paid 5 lakh rupees and final assessment me it came only 4 lakh rupees remember one thing you will have to go you will get a refund correct everyone and refund will be given along with interest at the rate of 6% under section number 56 56 says when the final assessment order has come you give an application after the application is given within 60 days if they don't give you the refund then after 60 days whatever the delay is there they will give you interest for that particular after 60 days wala period ke liye they will go ahead and give you interest at the rate of 6% telling hey beggar take 6% interest and get lost and for that the refund application will go in gst rmt01 remember one thing whenever they are going ahead and giving you the refund or whenever they are taking the money from you interest is calculated calculated on day wise calculation it is always it is day wise calculation can we go ahead everyone the next one over here is scrutiny of return what do you mean by scrutiny of return everyone you went ahead and filed your return officer is scrutinizing your return officer will go ahead registered person has filed his return proper officer may scrutinize it is not mandatory if he wants he can go ahead and scrutinize your return and to verify what correctness and discrepancy is found then he will issue a notice in asmt 0 asmt 10 telling that sir registered person within 30 days you will have to go ahead and accept the discrepancy pay your tax interest any other amount and inform the po you have you will make the payment and inform the po using which form everyone gst drc 03 and sir if you don't accept then you can go ahead and give you an explanation in asmt 11 he likes your explanation then he will go ahead and inform you in asmt 12 and he will not take any action but if he does not like your action does not like your explanation he will become angry bored and now not satisfactory reply if he is not satisfied or after accepting the discrepancy you fail to take corrective action means you have not made the payment then officer will get angry and now he will take action against you and that action includes audit special audit inspection search seizure and he will go ahead and determine the tax basically he will give you a demand order make the payment of the demand order within three months very good or go ahead go for an appeal within three months or after three months they will go ahead and start recovery remember one thing what are the recourses available with the officer if satisfactory reply is not given proper officer can take action against you which includes audit special audit inspection so caesar and baba he can go ahead and determine the tax under section number 73 and 74 basically whatever audit special audit special audit inspection he will do he will go ahead and use all those evidences and he will go ahead and raise a demand order baba demand ka payment should be always made within three months if you don't make the payment within three months go for an appeal within three months if you don't go for an appeal also after three months recovery will start can we go ahead everyone so we went ahead and learned section number 59 i will self assess my tax make the payment of the tax and file a return 60 everyone provisional assessment i am not able to determine the value or the rate then i can go ahead and apply to the officer for provisional assessment provisionally i'll pay an amount and on finalization i'll pay the differential or i'll take a refund section number 61 scrutiny will happen officer will scrutinize he'll tell me the discrepancy i'll make the payment of the discrepancy very good if i don't make the payment i can give an explanation he likes the explanation drop the proceeding did not like the explanation he'll get angry and take further action against me the next one over here is section number 62 which talks about best judgment assessment of non-filer if you are a registered person who has failed to file his return under section number 39 or 45 is what bye bye return your final return then baba they will go ahead and give you a notice and even after notice in the notice they will tell you to file the return within 15 days if you don't file the return even after the notice within 15 days then baba proper officer will get angry so you did not file your return he will go ahead and give you a notice once he gives you the notice he will tell you please go ahead and file the return within 15 days if you file very good if you don't file then proper officer will do the best judgment and issue an assessment order assessment order ka time limit is five years from the due date of annual return in asmt 13 basically he'll give the best judgment assessment order in asmt 13 within how many years so if this year related annual return ka date, due date is this from here one year two year three year four year five year are we clear everyone so it is from the due date of annual return if extended due date then from the extended due date five years and sir 
Sir, if I, I did not file the return, he gave me an assessment order. Run, Baba, run. Within 30 days, if you go online and file your return, etc., then assessment order will be deemed to be withdrawn. Deemed withdrawal if registered person furnishes a valid return within 30 days of service of the assessment order. But remember one thing, valid return means you will pay your taxes and you will file your return. But the liability for the other interest and late fees shall still continue. Are we clear, everyone? Remember one thing, sir, government have gone ahead and notified standard operating procedure. If you are a non-filer of return, they have notified what? Standard operating procedure. They are going ahead and telling over here, one, SOP in case of non-filers of return, officers were going ahead and doing different, different op procedures officers were following. So, CBIC has gone ahead and told that this is the standard operating procedure which you have to follow. They are telling officers, one system generated SMS three days prior to the due date should be sent to all the people. That power, wake up, return the due date have come. Now, post due date, system generated SMS or email will be sent to only the one filer. And then post five days, after five days, what will happen? One notice will be sent in GSTR 3A to file the return within 15 days. If they don't file, then PO will proceed. If the return is not, proceed for what? Best judgment assessment. If return is not filed within 15 days and issue the assessment order. While he is doing the best judgment assessment, because you have not filed your return, he will go ahead and use the other details available with him like GSTR 1, GSTR 2A, 2B, E-way bill detail or any other information. Best judgment assessment will be withdrawn if you go ahead and file within 30 days, you go ahead and file your return. Yes, everyone, which return? Valid return, means you have paid your tax and filed your return. And it says commissioner can also resort to, because you have not filed your returns, etc., he can resort to provisional attachment of the property so that you don't run away and also he can proceed for cancellation of registration under section number 29.2. Section number 29.2 gives you the cases when proper officer can go ahead and cancel your registration. In that, one case is also there where you don't file your returns, they can go ahead and cancel your registration. Everyone over here now. Section number 63 goes ahead and talks about best judgment assessment of unregistered person. So, if you are a taxable person and you have failed to obtain registration, you did not take your registration or your registration was cancelled. Your registration was cancelled because you had not, Baba, because you had not, your registration was cancelled by the proper officer under section number 292 because of the cases which are told under section number 292. Proper officer had cancelled your registration, but you are still liable to pay tax. Number one, taxable person failed to obtain registration. Or you are taking registration, but proper officer cancelled your registration, but you are still liable to pay tax. Then they are going ahead and telling first, we will give you a notice to the taxable person in ASMT 14 and we will state the ground for assessment and allow him 15 days to reply. Now he will they will first send you a notice and allow you 15 days to reply. Once you go ahead and reply, very good. If they like your explanation, chapter close. But if they don't like your explanation or you don't reply, they are going ahead and over here that sir. PO will go ahead and issue a notice stating the ground for assessment allowing 15 days to reply and then after that PO will proceed to assess the tax liability of such taxable person to the best of his judgment and here also assessment order in ASMT 15 is issued within 5 years from the due date of annual return for the year the tax relates to. Are we clear everyone? And no withdrawal in this scenario. Remember one thing, best judgment assessment of non-filer because already you were given a notice. You are given a notice to reply within 15 days. There is Once the assessment order is passed, there is no withdrawal. There is no withdrawal. Think everyone. And here, so basically, first of all, they give you a notice. Opportunity of being heard. And see over here, after opportunity of being heard, only assessment order is passed. So, show cause notice, then opportunity of being heard. And then the assessment order is being passed. And because the assessment order is passed, after notice, after opportunity of being heard, they are telling we will not go ahead and give you further any withdrawal. Are we all clear till here? The next one over here is summary assessment. Summary assessment means quick, quick, quick assessment which is there. Summary, in shortcut, they do the assessment. If proper officer has evidence that there is a tax liability plus proper officer has taken the prior permission of the additional commissioner or joint commissioner, then he can assess the tax liability of such person means might be there is a transporter who is taking the goods and going and transporter told, I don't know who is the owner. Warehouse keeper, he is telling, I don't know who is the owner of these goods. In that scenario, such person means the transporter or the warehouse keeper ka good assessment will be done saying that these goods are yours and I will do the assessment. That is what they are telling over here. If proper officer has an evidence of the tax liability, he will take the permission of the additional commissioner, joint commissioner, and he will assess the tax liability of such person, means the transporter, owner, operator of warehouse, etc., to protect the interest of the revenue, and he will issue an assessment order in ASMT 16. If he has sufficient ground to believe that if he does any delay, then that will adversely affect the interest of the revenue. So quickly he will go ahead and do the assessment. 
आर वी क्लियर आई गिवन सम एग्जाम्पल ट्रांसपोर्ट और ओनर ऑपरेटर और वेयर हाउस का असेसमेंट कैन बी डन ये पर्सन इन चार्ज और पर्सन इन चार्ज का असेसमेंट कैन बी डन इन केस द टैक्सीबल पर्सन कैन नॉट बी ट्रेस्ड it says the assessment order order will be withdrawn means summary assessment order can be withdrawn on an application by the taxable person within 30 days of the receipt of the order or on the po on his own but in this scenario the assessment order ka withdrawal will be done only if ac or jc additional commissioner or joint commissioner is satisfied that the order was erroneous he can withdraw it and direct the proper officer to follow the proceedings under section number 73 and 74 that is by giving proper show cause notice opportunity of being heard and then passing a demand Order. Everyone over here. The next one over here is, sir. What are the orders that can be withdrawn? Always remember, best judgment under section number sixty-two can be withdrawn. Section number sixty-four का summary assessment order can also be withdrawn if the taxable person gives an application or on his own if the AC or JC recognizes on on an application from the taxable person or on his own motion they can go ahead and withdraw if AC or JC in both the cases identifies that sir the order which was passed the summary assessment order was erroneous. सर रिमेम्बर सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी फोर में वट एवर असेसमेंट ऑर्डर जी एस टी डी आर सी जीरो सेवन डन एवरी वन सर दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इफ आई गोड एंड टेल यू यू कैन स्टिल कॉल इट ए बिग ग्रेडेड चैप्टर बट दे गो हैड एंड आस क्वेश्चन ऑन प्रोविजनल असेसमेंट में दिस कैलकुलेशन विच आर देर नो प्लीज डू क्वेश्चन एंड गो फॉर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दिस कैलकुलेशन दे कैन गोड एंड आस्क यू वट अबाउट द स्क्रूटी scrutiny minimum whatever what are the recourse is available with the officer those thing they can go ahead and ask you they can ask you sir bank guarantee ka one calculation they can ask you that assessment order uh, officer went ahead and told to uh, give their bond amount of this much then what will be the security amount security amount is 25% of the bond amount sir final assessment order ke liye what is the time limit to pass final assessment order sir best judgment assessment order ke liye what is the time limit they can ask you to write a note on summary uh, best judgment assessment of non uh, unregistered person sorry non filers of return or best judgment assessment of unregistered person and non filer of return anyone ke liye one note they can ask you they can ask you a summary assessment ke liye one note which is there write a note on summary assessment order they can ask you write a note on summary assessment they can ask you sir what are the orders that can be withdrawn that's it everyone sops till now they have not asked a question but one day my heart says they can go ahead and ask you a question this is a big rated chapter 4 to 5 mark is the maximum they can go ahead and ask out of this chapter i'll close my revision on the chapter of assessment and assessment means what everyone determination of tax liability